Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade Mexican queso dip. Now this is a very cheesy dip which is made Mexican style and you can switch around the ingredients and the seasonings to your liking. So I'm going to show you how I like to make mine but most definitely you can change up the seasonings here, you can change the bacon for sausage, you can also change the onion for other vegetables that you like. Um, I'm adding a jalapeno, but you don't have to. You can also add a sweet green pepper. There are so many things you can change these ingredients up with, but I'm just going to give you an idea of how to make the Mexican queso dip. Now with this dip, you can accompany it with some Tostitos, like corn chips. You can accompany it with pita chips, with even some naan bread. Whatever you like, you can go ahead and eat with this. It is very versatile and very, very, very delicious. Now you can also change up the cheddar cheese. I'm using some mild cheddar here, but most definitely you can change it to pepper jack, Monterey jack, Havarti, mozzarella, whatever cheese that you like. So let's go over the ingredients that I'm going to be using here in this dip, and uh, then we'll move on to starting our cheese dip. Okay, so what I have here is one jalapeno, which I have de-seeded and chopped. Okay, we also have two tablespoons of cream cheese softened. Doesn't really matter if it's softened or not. Here I have one medium onion um, diced up. I also have about six slices of pre-cooked bacon that I have crumbled up to small pieces. We're going to be using one teaspoon of minced garlic. If you don't have minced garlic on hand, you can always just use one clove of garlic and just chop it up. Here we have a mixture. I have one cup of milk and half a cup of half and half cream. Now here for the seasonings, I have half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and I also have half a teaspoon of chili powder. So here I also have three tablespoons of butter, and I also have about two and one quarter cups of cheddar cheese shredded up here. So you're also going to be needing a nice uh, saucepan, or I shouldn't say saucepan, you'll be needing a um, frying pan. I'm using one with higher sides because it's definitely easier to make our queso dip. So let's move over to the stove. Okay, so let's get to work now. With our stove top on medium low heat, we are going to add in our butter. We're going to allow our butter to melt. And then we'll add in our garlic and our onion. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we'll add in our onion. We'll add in our garlic, okay, and we're going to saute this for about four minutes. Okay, so once you notice that your onion and garlic is becoming a nice golden brown, it could take four minutes, five or six minutes, um, whatever it takes, allow it to come to a nice golden brown color like this. And now I'm going to add in my jalapeno. Now if you were adding a green pepper or switching it up to a, a different um, kind of pepper, you could most definitely add it at this time, at the same time I'm adding this one. Just leave it here for about a minute or so. Ok, 
Okay, so now we'll add in our seasonings. Allow the flavors to come through. You could also add in some cumin or substitute it for one of the other spices that I have added in. You can use taco seasoning. Adjust it to your liking. Now we'll add in our milk and our half and half cream, which I had mixed together here. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye on this, continuously stirring. And we're going to allow this mixture to come to a gentle simmer. And then we'll move on to the next step after that. Okay, as you can see, our mixture is coming up to a nice gentle boil. And now I'm going to close my stove temperature. Just gonna close it completely. And I am going to add in my cream cheese and mix it until it is melted into our mixture. Now you need to make sure that your stove top is closed while doing this. Okay, so um, right after I added in the cream cheese and I was mixing for a little bit, I right after removed my frying pan off of the stove and the cheese will melt much easier when you do that. And I changed from the wooden spoon to a whisk so I could incorporate it better into my sauce. And most definitely, it is better. So make sure that before you add in your cream cheese, you remove your pan off of the heat and place it on um, a pot holder. And then you start to add in your cream cheese or it'll take very long to um, melt because the temperature is still very high. Okay, so that's done. Now. I gave that a nice mix with my whisk and we are going to add in our cheddar cheese. Okay, so we are going to mix this just until incorporated and then we're going to take it back to our stove on medium low heat and we're going to allow this cheese to completely melt and come up to a gentle simmer and then we'll add in our remaining toppings. Okay, so we're back to our stove top on medium low heat and we're gonna continuously stir until our cheese is completely melted and we have a gentle simmer. Now, if you wanted to add some extra flavor, um, I mean, an extra little something, you could add about one quarter cup of beer. Now, you would add that once you add in your cream mixture.
Okay, so it only took about two minutes to uh, completely melt our cheese and our mixture to heat through. So now I have removed our mixture from our stove top and now we're going to allow our mixture to sit about seven to ten minutes and when you remove it from your stove top you're going to notice that your mixture is a little bit runny that is totally normal because as it cools it will thicken up so now um before giving it the waiting time we are going to add in our bacon okay and we're going to mix just to incorporate it into our dip here Now you want to make sure you adjust the salt to your liking. So most definitely if you want to put less, that's okay. If you want to put a little bit more, that's okay too. It's all um, your preference. Okay, so I'm going to allow this to sit about 7 to 10 minutes just as it is. And every 2 minutes I'm just going to give it a nice mix. Okay, so we have our queso dip complete here. Now what I did was I allowed it to cool in the same pan that we used to make our dip and I left it there for about five minutes and uh, it started to thicken up right away. So I placed it into a bowl and what I have added is some toppings here, actually just one topping. I added some chopped onion, most definitely optional, but you can actually use any toppings you like. You can use some cilantro, you can use some parsley, um, you can leave it just as it is and it'll be just as amazing. And um, that's about it guys, so we're ready to try our dip. Now when my dip was in the pan and I was allowing it to cool, I did leave it, uh, I did mix it every two minutes just so we don't create a, like a film on top of our sauce. So I was doing that in between. So let's try our amazing dip. It is amazing. The flavor is just perfection. And you know what? You, as I said, you can even have this with some naan bread or some pita chips and it'll be so, so good. You won't even have to add any salt if you make your own pita chips, which I do have a recipe and I will leave in the description box below just in case you want to make your homemade chips and that's about it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new and delicious recipe and if you enjoyed the video please give it a nice big thumbs up and share the recipe with your family and friends and be sure to try it tonight the weekend is a perfect time to try and eat these kind of dips so i hope you enjoyed this video take care see you Bye bye